Gabe Cups joins us, one of Indiana's newest recruits coming in uh, this fall, actually, uh, this June. But uh, first of all, Gabe, thank you for taking time uh, to join us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's been uh, – your name has been around for a while. Indiana has wanted you, and they've courted you. And so this your recruitment has – I mean, has it gone on for like three years? Has yeah, it been it's that been long? a long time. Yeah. How is that's that's a relationship there, man. I mean, that's longer than some of the some relationships I've been in. So uh, that's uh, that's a long time to spend with people before you even get to where you're going. Yeah, I feel I feel like I have a really good relationship with with the coaching staff and some of the guys that have been there for for those years. So I think I'm kind of a step ahead as a guy who, you know, doesn't have had that time that I've had. How important is that? Was that in, in making decisions? Uh, because that's where you're planning to spend, you know, whatever, however long it's going to be, two, three, four years, uh, you're going to be there and, and, and you want to be around those people. But how important is, is that time you spent? Yeah, I think it's super important. Um, the relationships is really – was one of my main driving forces on on where I was going to go to school and – you know, I felt like I fit in with, with the coaching staff and the type of players that were at Indiana. Um, so getting to spend that time and build that relationship this is somewhere, you know, where I didn't really have that time. Um, somebody that kind of came in late to my recruitment, then, um, you know, I think Indiana had the upper hand with that. You're known as a – well, you're, you can play either position, the one or the two, obviously a point guard, but – uh, you're a guy that can shoot the ball, and that is something Indiana has been known for for generations here of late. They've been in need of some shooters. Uh, you're going to be uh, very much a welcome sight for them, I'm sure. Uh, that's There's a lot of expectations for in not you so much, but the team coming back, but you're going to be a part of that. Uh, how do you look to see your fitting into that and, and getting in to being a part of that. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just really excited to go and compete with those guys and um, get better and kind of see how the team fits together. Um, you know, I, I believe in myself and, you know, obviously really great players are like Indiana is going to be full of great players. So um, I'm just going to go in and do what I do and, you know, see what happens. And, and speaking of that, uh, a lot of seven new faces uh, on this on the Indiana roster, and it's going to be a a much different team than than people saw last year. Uh, it's going to be operated differently. I think it's going to be a team where scoring can come from all five positions, where that really wasn't the case last year. Uh, I, I think now it's whether it's the point guard, it's the off guard, three, the four. Uh, they they've got so many different weapons now. Uh, it, I, I think it's going to be a multifaceted offense. How exciting is that knowing, first of all, that that is going to be – it's it's not going to be something where it's, they're just two guys, two main guys or one main guy, where there's going to be opportunities abound. Yeah, it's super exciting, especially from a from a point guard um, standpoint. Just having weapons and, and guys that can shoot it and score it in multiple ways is, is something that you really want, um, you know. It's, it's nice playing with, with great guys. You can give them the ball and let them do their thing. Speaking of uh, playing, uh, Xavier, uh, Xavier Johnson, of course, uh, returning Indiana's point guard, someone that you'll be getting to learn uh, under, behind. How exciting is that? He is obviously a high-level high level player. Unfortunately, he went down with injury last year in the Kansas game, but is back and returned for this year, and you'll get to spend a lot of time with him. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning from him, and um, I'm looking forward to getting in the gym with him too and, um, you know, just – just kind of going at each other and making each other better. Are you a gym rat? I mean, one of those guys that would just go in there and just light it up and just stay in there for hours. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any hobbies, any anything else. I don't have very many friends. I'm just always <laughs> in the gym. Well, that's a great place to be. Um, Indiana recently, obviously, uh, Friday, landed Mackenzie Mbako that will be added to the roster as well. 
Uh, that has to be exciting, knowing that Indiana has added yet another major piece—a five-star former fi or five-star uh, wing player, former Duke commit. So that just solidifies uh, Indiana and, and gives them more weapons for someone like you to to throw to. So, uh, talk about the opportunity of, of hearing Indiana landed him. What were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it's great for the program, and I think McKenzie's also a really good kid. I've known him for for a couple of years now, just playing with Bronny. He was on the on the SFG team a couple of years ago, so um, I've gotten to interact with him and see him in a few different places and camps and stuff like that. So um, you know, he's obviously a really great player, and he'll be he'll be a really good addition to the team. And, and you like you mentioned uh, Bronny, and and I know you're friends with Reed Shepard. Uh, all these different guys that are going to all these different places. Now you're going to be playing against those guys in college. I know you played against them at various various levels, but this is a, a much a much higher much, much higher stakes. Um, how's that going to be? Uh, you won't get to play against Bronny, I guess, unless you you meet in a tournament. Because uh, I don't think he's going to stick around more than a year when they join the Big Ten. But that would be nice and cool, wouldn't it? Um, but what, what's it going to be like to get to play against those guys? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, you know, I've I've grown up and had the had the ability to play play against really good guys and so seeing all those familiar faces, you know, committing and and going to all these different high-level schools is is really awesome to see and um, you know, I I played against them when I was young. Maybe I played against them in high school and um now getting to play against them in college, it'll be really fun. You know, obviously they're great players, so um, it'll be a, it'll be a battle. Reed, of course, at uh, Kentucky, and I I am I'm pretty confident that series is going to be reunited while you're in school. Um, I, I just have a, fe a good feeling about that. I know that they've been working on it for quite some time. How, how would is that something that you would definitely would like to see? Not just to play against Reed, but. The Indiana-Kentucky uh, series is something that should have never been ended. It's just one of the great things in college basketball and all the sports. But uh, how cool will that to be to get to play against Kentucky again, play against Reed? Yeah, that would be super cool. I'm I'm really hoping they start the series back up. And, you know, playing against Reed will definitely be special. He's one of my best friends. So, um, But it's also Kentucky. So, um, you know, Indiana versus Kentucky should happen all the time. Absolutely. What have you been doing to spend your time to prepare yourself? So I know that you're out of school now and you, you've got just the, the time between you have to report to Indiana at the first of June. So you're only a couple of weeks away. So you don't have a lot, a lot of time left before you got to yeah. go to work. Yeah. I mean, I've just been in the gym a lot, been in the weight room a lot, um, trying to focus on my diet, been trying to put on, put on some weight before getting to campus. Um, and then, I mean, just, playing pickup, spending time with my family, you know, it's going to, it's going to be weird being away from them, but I'm ready. Have you seen any of the pictures before of uh, they posted uh, Cliff Marshall with his before and after on these guys? Yeah. You, you, you know, so you know what you're in for, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I was, I was, my next question is what have you been doing to try to prepare for that? It's like trying to prepare for a marathon. Uh, because I, he, he puts those guys through the paces, man. They're out running in the sand and doing who knows what. Uh, but they certainly uh, – it's certainly a difference. Um, and But, yeah, it's something I know that you look forward to and need uh, for your game. But it's, it's absolutely – that's a challenge. It's outside of the game itself. It's, it's, it's almost a, a weird because it's, it's nothing to do with basketball. Uh, but it is to do with what you're doing but um the training aspect is it's so much different than it used to be when i was in school when the older the nutrition uh how seriously do you take all of the things like that and the nutrition i mean because you're you're still a i don't want to call you a kid but i don't mean it that way you're, you're just younger when hell when i was that age i didn't i, I didn't give a you know i mean I didn't give a crap about that stuff but it's important it matters. Um, how diligently are you to that, adhering to those things? Uh, yeah, I would say I would say I pay pretty close attention to them. Um, you know, I'm definitely thankful for all the resources that 
that we have now. And, um, you know, it's just the way that, that I can get better and improve myself as a player and as a person. So um, I play, I pay pretty close attention to it. Uh, last year, Indiana, very high up, uh, challenging Purdue for a the Big Ten title there till toward the end. Uh, again, I expect them to be back this year now uh, with the addition of yourself, mm -hmm. Ja'Kai Newton, and uh, uh, mm -hmm. McKenzie. And we haven't talked about Ja'Kai. He's also another great addition to this team. Uh, what what does his game bring to, to the squad that you're looking forward to seeing? Yeah, I'm looking forward to just Ja'Kai's competitiveness. Um, he's a guy that can really guard. You know, he's, he brings good size and versatility. He's super strong and athletic. Um, he can shoot it, and, you know, he really, really can guard. So I'm looking forward to playing with him. And as you look at this Indiana roster, it, it's pretty deep now uh, with the additions and the, the guys coming in and the guys that are there. There's virtually no one that cannot play this game uh, from top to bottom. It's 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 a pretty strong unit. Uh, fighting for minutes is going to be difficult. Uh, you mentioned the word competing, and that's the thing that you have to do. You have to compete every day in practice uh, for those. That's you're competing to get minutes through your own play. How hard is it? Well, you've always probably played a lot because you've been a star of the teams you've been on. Making this transition to college where you're probably not going to get as many minutes in the beginning, uh, maybe you will. I don't know. I'm not doubting your abilities. Uh, you, you could be someone that steps in and starts. But if it's not that way because there's guys there, how difficult are you ready to take uh, to be able to deal with that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I – I have no ego when it comes to this, really. I, I trust Coach Woodson. That's why that's why I came and I'm going to play for him. So whatever Coach Woodson thinks is best and um, his staff, like I'm going to – I'm just going to be all in for the team. I want to see the team succeed, see them win. So um, if that's me playing 20 minutes a game, if it's me playing five minutes a game, that's fine. But I'm just going to – I'm going to play as hard as I can and just do the most that I can. That's uh, – I'm sure uh, Hoosier fans love hearing that. Do you know any of the guys that are already on the team? Uh, how much familiarity do you have with uh, any of them that were already here? Yeah, I mean, I, I've talked to Xavier and I've talked to Trey quite a bit. Um, so I've gotten to know those guys pretty well throughout throughout my recruitment and now, um, you know, kind of talking to them about, about the upcoming summer. You get them to Indiana, uh, you're going to get to start playing in Assembly Hall, start traveling to these other venues, playing in the Big Ten. I know you've these are things that you've watched uh, like everybody else your entire life. I know you've been to Assembly Hall and all that, but to actually play there in games, to, to be in Mackey Arena, to be in some of these other places, playing against Kansas at home, uh, there's going to be some incredible experiences that you get to experience right off the bat. Uh, do, have you thought about that, or is that just something that you're just not even really thinking about? It? Uh, yeah, I've, I've definitely thought about it a little bit. Um, you know, even last year watching March Madness for the last time before, like, actually kind of being a part of it um, was kind of a, a weird feeling just because I've grown up, you know, all around the game of basketball. So um, to kind of be in that in that college atmosphere and in those games is something that I've I've dreamt about my whole life. So I'm I'm ready to go for it. Yeah, is there a fair is there a, a favorite announcer you've ever that you've dreamed of, of of hearing call your name during a play by play a TV game, whether whatever it is, you say, like, oh my God, can you imagine so and so talking about Gabe Cups coming across the center line, firing up a three? I don't know. I mean, there's definitely voices that I've imagined, but I don't I don't know if I've ever had a specific one. I've definitely imagined, you know, when I'm watching a game, that voice kind of calling calling my name, but I don't think there's ever Who been does a it? Who who does it? I mean, there what kid has not done, you know, 3 2 1 or whatever is going on. We've all lived that life. Uh, but you will get to actually live that in in real in reality. And then you mentioned March Madness. Uh you most likely will be participating in that. Uh, and that is 
a big big stage. Not you know, the Big Ten is a big stage. The Big Ten tournament is a bigger stage, and then you move on to the NCAA tournament, which you're going to experience all of those in your first year. Uh, and you're, it is an incredible, incredible thing, especially when you get to the NCAA tournament. And you, you've talked about what is that going to be like when, when that comes to be a reality? Yeah, I, I think it'll be amazing. I think, um, you know, I'll just be overwhelmed with gratefulness for for everything that's led me up to this point and, you know, all the people that have gotten me to this point. So, um, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to be grateful for the opportunity and then just go show what I can do. What's your expectations this year for the team, for yourself, uh, first coming in this first season? Uh, for myself, I would say just um, I'm going to be a guy that's going to play as hard as I can, going to put the team above myself and um, try to lead as the best I can. Um, for the team, I mean, you know, I, I hope we win a lot of games and I think we, we definitely have the ability to and I think – Coach Woodson and Coach Walsh and Coach Roseman and Coach Hunter will, will get us ready for, for you know, every team that we play. So I'm just looking forward for the experience and, you know, the opportunity to play. Who's the funniest coach? Mm, I would say either – I mean, I laugh at Coach Woodson all the time. I don't know if he's trying to be funny to me, but yeah, I yeah, I don't know that he's trying to be funny, but that's the funny thing, yeah. That's, yeah, he yeah. he makes me laugh a lot, but um, outside of him, I would say probably Coach Walsh, just because I I have the best right. relationship with him, and so he kind of kind of knows my my sense of humor now. And uh, and how important is that to to know that someone knows you? I mean that that has to be of great importance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Coach Walsh and and me have, you know, been talking for quite a while now. So um, I've gotten to know him pretty well and he knows me pretty well. We kind of know how each other work and how we operate. So um, I'm looking forward to keep building the relationship. Could you, can you take Walsh on the court? Uh, I think I can. <laughs> I think he might be able to, too. I'll ask him next time I see him. But uh <laughs> What what are fun things are you going to be able to do before you get? You've only got, like I said, what two weeks before you arrive in Bloomington. So what do you uh, you can hang out with your friends and all that? But that's not much time to squeeze in, man. Yeah, I mean, go to some grad parties. I guess I got my grad party uh, next weekend, so I think that'll be fun to kind of see everybody that's that's helped me along the way here. You got to pack up, get packed, of course. Uh, move in, probably not bring a ton of stuff other than clothes. But yeah. uh, first year of college, I know it's got to be exciting coming during the summer, which probably helps uh, uh, less less things going on. But you're going to have so many things going on. Your your schedule, once you get here, how busy are you going to be? Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I know I'm going to have to take a couple classes, which I think will be good for me just to kind of ease into – to figuring out how to handle school and basketball um, at the college level. And then, you know, I don't know, just working out, getting with the coaches, getting with Coach Cliff, and, you know, just getting better. <laughs>